I know that this is a really bad idea and many people have already tried to stop me. But it's too late to turn back now. Now, when I have successfully entered the back rooms. Welcome. To make a long story short, my brother disappeared two years ago. Soon after, I received this message. I can't reach you with cellular data, but the Wi-Fi is strong here in level 3. Although, using the Wi-Fi here will attract entities, so I have to leave soon. I don't know how, but I glitched into the back rooms when I was in the bathroom in the old warehouse. I don't know how to go back. If I don't meet you again, I love you. Tell mom and dad I love them too. Have to go. That was all. I was so upset and spent every week hour researching the back rooms. The story of the back rooms is very complicated, but to summarize it, the back rooms is a form of an alternative dimension that consists of thousands of levels. Every level is different from the others. In almost all of the levels, you can find entities wandering around. Some are very hostile and dangerous, and some are more docile. You can enter the back rooms by glitching from the real world. This is often not something that is a conscious decision, and can happen to anyone during unfortunate circumstances. The back rooms is a dangerous and scary place, and there are only a few ways to make it back to the real world. There are numerous people living inside the back rooms who got stuck there. Soon after I received the message, I decided that if my brother is still in there, I will find him. I have to. I know that we can make it out of there alive together. I started preparing for my journey and today, years later, it was time. I packed a big backpack full of supplies, food and a journal in which I have written all useful information about the back rooms that I could find. The different levels, the entities, the food and water that is safe to consume and the different groups of people inside. My brother wrote that he accidentally entered the back rooms by glitching from the old warehouse that used to be a mall. I've read that if there's a place that looks similar to some of the levels in the back rooms, you're more likely to glitch there. For example, flickering lights, the smell of wet cloth, etc. The back room feeds on strong negative feelings and emotions. This afternoon, I went to the old warehouse and entered the bathroom. I stayed there for about 10 minutes and then closed my eyes while I could hear the sound of flickering lights. And nothing. I tried again and again. I was so frustrated that I started crying. This has to work. I have spent two years. I started throwing myself against the wall. One, two, three times. And then, I fell through it. My head was spinning and it took me some time to adjust. And here I am. I have successfully entered the back rooms. If I've done my research correctly, this must be level zero, the lobby. The survival difficulty on this level is one. It's quite safe, secure, and have minimal entity count. I look around. This level consists of a network of rooms. The wallpaper looks old and washed out. The light is flickering and the carpet is damp and smells really bad. I start to walk. It's really creepy here and it gives me a strange vibe. Everything looks the same. It's normal to hallucinate on this level, and that terrifies me. I need to keep my focus. I walk around a corner and another one. Everything looks the same. I am starting to panic. I feel so isolated. 
and the only sound I can hear is coming from me. It's one thing to read about it, but it's another thing to experience it. I keep on walking. Wait, I saw something in my peripheral vision. It's gone now. I start walking faster, and there, again, it's moving closer. I feel my heart beating so fast. I start walking faster. It's just a hallucination. There's no entities here. I hear footsteps behind me. Something is right behind me. One, two, three, four, five feet. I start to run. I look behind me. Nothing. I keep on running as fast as I can, and I run straight into a wall. I fall and land on my knees. What happened? That should have hurt way more. I look around. I'm no longer on level zero. This must be level one. I must have glitched when running into the wall. I have no idea about all of the horrible things I will experience inside the back rooms. I have not met any skin stealers, smilers or hounds yet. But one thing is certain. This will not be easy. Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. I have spent a lot of time researching the back rooms and I have many plans for the future parts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will post part 2 in a while. Put on the notifications so you don't miss it. This was Backrooms, part 1.